This is the Star News Brief. I'm Joy Liregi. President William Ruto is a few seats shy of having a supermajority in the bicameral parliament. The numbers could give him a free hand to engineer key constitutional changes as well as bulldoze his legislative agenda. After President Ruto's twin raid at his predecessor Uhuru Kenyatta and Azimio leader Raila Odinga's camp last week, Kenya Kwanzaa just needs 15 MPs to get the magical two-thirds majority in the National Assembly. Get a copy of the Star e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com. Detectives are interrogating four university students believed to be part of a gang behind incidents of violent robberies in Ruai, Juja, Kayole, Nairobi and surrounding areas. This is after an undercover team of police officers based at Makadara, Ruai, Embakasi and Kayole in a joint operation arrested a 19-year-old Kenyatta University student. The arrest follows intelligence leads that he was part of a dangerous criminal gang. Five months after the death of lawyer Paul Gisheru, his family is struggling financially as they don't have access to his money. In a case filed in Milimani Law Court, his widow Ruth Wokabi and one of her three sons have asked for grant of letters to be administrators of his estate, estimated to be worth 132 million shillings. The assets include a lodge in Nakuru valued at 50 million shillings, four properties in Eldoret worth approximately 55.5 million shillings, property in Pioneeringeria valued at 27 million shillings, shares in Seda Dairies Farm, and cash in several bank accounts. Big guns continue to snub people barazas organized by Azimio leader Raila Odinga, even as the opposition luminaries downplay rifts in its ranks. In what is becoming a pattern, county bosses elected on Azimio's ticket continue to keep off the anti-Ruto rallies, triggering alarm bells in the opposition camp as it holds its fifth rally. Governors Wavinyandeti of Machakos and Polo Tuoma of Busia have skipped the public engagements despite being the hosts. The government can raise 30 billion shillings every year by selling most of the 248 state corporations that have become expensive to run. Parliamentary budget experts say that from the sale, the exchequer could realize between 0.5% and 1% of the country's GDP. The Parliamentary Budget Office, which advises MPs on matters economy, says if a proper method is used, the resources are estimated to range between 60 billion shillings and 110 billion shillings spread over the medium term. Get a copy of the Star e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com.